Grade 5 Math, number 54, Dividing Decimals and Quotients That Won't Quit. Sometimes when we do division problems that are decimals, we can get stuck with a quotient that keeps repeating the same number over and over. A repeating decimal has one or more digits that repeat endlessly, endlessly forever. It'll drive you crazy. Take a look at this one. We had 1 and 1 tenth trying to fit into 5, okay? So I moved and hopped the decimal point over to here, which meant I had to move and hop the decimal point over to here in the dividend. So we raised it straight up. Now I've got 11 fits into 50. 11 can go into 50 four times because that's 11 times 4 is 44. I put my 44 and I did my subtraction and I got a 6. Well, because I ran out of digits, I had to add a 0, which is okay on the right side of a decimal point. So I added the 0 and brought it down and now I had 11 can fit into 60. Five times because that's 55. So I put the 5 up there. I did my subtraction and I got a 5. Just like up here. So I ran out of zeros, so I added another one, and 11 fit into 54 times, which is 44. I did my subtraction and got a 6, just like here, and had to add another zero. It goes in f 5 times because it's 55 when you multiply. I did my subtraction and got a 5, just like here and here, and now it's here. 11 goes into 50 four times, which is 44, which is a 60 when I drop down another zero, which is just like here and here. So it's obviously you're just going to keep repeating 5, 4, 5, 4, okay? This quotient has a repeating decimal of a 5 and a 4 that just keeps going and going and going. We notice it's repeating and we stop dividing, hopefully before you get this far, hopefully when it's like that. So what we do is we write 4 and 54 hundredths with a bar over the top of it. This bar tells everyone that it's going to keep repeating 5454. Four, five, four. Another way to do it is to use an ellipsis of three dots. I use them all the time in my writing. You use an ellipsis, which means and so on. Okay? I find it using the ellipsis is a little confusing when the decimal is by itself because then it looks like this with the points on each side. So we had three tenths that we were trying to put into one tenth or one hundredth. It was a one hundredth, a one and a zero with the decimal point in front. So to get rid of the decimal, I moved it over one space to here, which meant I had to move it over to here in the dividend, and then I brought it straight up to here for the answer. Three fits into ten, into one no times. See that? So I tried to fit it into ten, and it fits three times, and three times three is nine. I did subtraction and got a 1, and I had to add a 0 because I ran out of digits. 3 fits into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. I did my subtraction and got a 1, added a 0, and I'm already starting to go crazy because I see it's going 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9. So I know it's going to repeat. So this quotient has a repeating decimal of 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. We notice it's repeating and we stop dividing, hopefully around here, so that you don't have to keep going. We write a 3-3 three, three with the bar over the top, or we could even write a 3 with just a bar over the top, like that. Or we could put the three dots, the ellipsis, which means it repeats. Okay? So that's a repeating decimal. It's got one or more digits that repeat endlessly. They can have one or two digits that repeat, or many. So remember to use the bar on the top of all the digits. You can use the, the ellipsis if you like. On any digits that are repeating, on this number, 48 and 26 hundredths, if the 2 and the 6 are repeating, then you put the bar over both the 2 and the 6. See? If you've got 17 and 1,583 ten thousandths, and the 1583 keeps repeating, you put it over the whole thing because the 1583 is just going to keep repeating. Here, the 3 would keep repeating, so we just put it over the 3. But what if we had one where we had 24 
And when we got to the 1600th, it was okay. But then the 274 repeated. But this part didn't. Then just put it over the 274. See, you wouldn't put it over that if that wasn't repeating. So if this kept repeating like this, like that, then we wouldn't have to write these, okay? We would just put the bar over this 274 to, to let everyone know that it, it's going to go 274, 274, even though it's got a 1, 6 here, okay? So that's a repeating decimal. It's normally not taught until 6th grade, but I figured, what the heck? You're smart enough to handle this, right? And besides, what if you do a problem and this happens and it's not next year? You need to know, okay? So, repeating decimals. The ones that do stop are called terminating decimals. We'll talk about that next year, okay? We're going to talk about fractions coming up. I hope to see you there. Bye.